so hi well the good noise podcast i'm shane i'm glory um unfortunately we don't have any cory mother freaking taylor to talk about this week god bless um, got that out of the way so this is actually this is going to be the first and only good noise podcast weather report today it was 70 <laughs> degrees in new jersey and i just want everyone to know that i'm fucking stoked it was 70 degrees out not because it was nice as shit outside but because mm-hmm. i got to pull out my motionless and white windbreaker that's a little too small for me for the first time since like October when I got it at the Motionless and White show. So, um, very it was fucking stuff. 85. Stoked. 85, it was 85 by for you? me. Yeah. Jesus. I had to transport cupcakes. Absolutely. I was sweating the whole time. Not because I was stressed, but because it was 85 degrees outside. I was mm-hmm. terrified. Bro, like, yeah, it was like a nice brisk 70. Like, uh, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. I had shorts on this morning and I was like, God mm-hmm. damn, it's nice out. But then, you know, I had to switch over to the, um, the windbreaker the the windbreaker Mm. and jeans fit um yeah yeah which is the most confusing thing because like you associate windbreaker with like um athletic shit probably and then i got jeans on but my windbreaker is also motionless and white themed so it i'm pretty sure yeah you get the idea that i don't go anywhere (laughs) (laughs) you get the idea maybe not athletic (laughs) motionless and white (laughs) so um yeah there's that um mm-hmm. very stoked about that and that's the only time we'll talk about the weather i promise uh, yeah. until next year when i have to squeeze into this windbreaker again for the first time <laughs> make it a yearly no, tradition no, what i'm hoping is that they're um in april when i see them they have windbreakers and i'm gonna buy oh, one in my size this time <laughs> wait so you didn't buy one in your size last time? okay so the problem was the show sold out at starland ballroom i waited until the end to get merch because i was by myself i knew the show was sold out i didn't want to hold the shit so mm-hmm. I was intending on getting a tour shirt, despite the tour shirt being ugly as shit. And when I got up there, all the shirts were sold out except like smalls. I'm not Ooh. squeezing into a small. Um, Dora shirt. <laughs> <laughs> and then, so I get up there and I was like, oh, fuck, everything is smalls and mediums. Mm-hmm. And um, I was like, I'll take a lanyard. And then I kept looking at the windbreak and I was like, I might be able to squeeze into a medium in that. So I was like, I'm going to risk the $55 purchase and if it doesn't fit me, I'm fucked. It was expensive, bro. Fifty-five dollars. Why do you think I'm wearing it right now? For a windbreaker that might not fit you. <laughs> Why do you think I'm wearing it right now, bro? <laughs> you gotta point. Yeah, and it's yeah, a little short on me it. in the arms, but it's okay. <laughs> people, people can't see your arms. No, Just keep no them, one can keep see my arms. Low. That's okay. Right. Uh, but everyone in real life can, so that's really unfortunate. <laughs> they don't uh, matter. <laughs> so, yeah, um, stoked it fits me six months mm-hmm. later, um, and I'm hoping that at the next show there's ones that are in my size. Um, so actually on the topic emotionless and white uh, they announced a new single today mm-hmm. first single off the album very excited um, mm-hmm. gonna be great they're gonna announce the gonna album before live. they go on the road that's right we're all gonna hear it live us and a couple of our friends hey man I'm back so you were talking about the emotionless hey, white track <laughs> yeah the emotionless <laughs> white track uh, we're yeah. all gonna hear it live you me and a couple of our friends we got so it's many crazy. people going to the uh, the, the scene hello mega scene tour, tour. Mm-hmm. it's gonna be crazy bro and honestly I'm jealous about our uh, for our friends over on the west coast they get to see the tour well before us yeah I'm literally the last date on the tour yeah it's fucked up man fucked up. At least I'll get the set list, you know? <laughs> at least I'll, know the, I'll have all the information. You'll have a set list playlist by then, at least seven. Um, oh, yeah. God. So, yeah. All uh, all exciting things going on over there. I'm I'm very excited uh, for mm-hmm. Motionless and White. Um, mm-hmm. Butt Rock Tour of the Century got announced today. Um, oh. Ask Alexandria, Nothing More. Um, I thought that was Nothing Nowhere. As soon as you, you sent it to me, I was yeah. like, why is he here? Nope. But it, it wasn't. Um, Sorry. No. Um, Atreyu and Eva Under Fire are going on tour. Besties. And, yeah. yeah, besties. And um, if anybody's going to the Jersey Day, I'll see you there. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, to see the Butt Rock Besties. You know? uh, not even the Butt Rock Besties. I completely besties. missed them. Uh, I yeah. missed them on that that list. I, all I saw was um, Ask Alexandra and what I thought was nothing nowhere, and then I just kind of gave up reading. Yeah, but even under fire. Yep, they on. made it. Um, they're they're obviously, um, I like obviously we joke like butt rock this, butt rock that, but uh, obviously we spoke to Eva under fire, so uh, we like we them. spoke to Eva. Uh, we oh did. yeah, they we may. spoke to the cool. Eva. Mm-hmm. Um, and uh, I like asking Alexandria despite straight up butt rock and the tree has always been all right live 
I've seen them a couple of times, so I'm excited for that tour. And then uh, in this moment, um, bad omens and dead, not dead son. <laughs> Dude, okay, that's not on me. That's on whoever wrote. So for context, because this is obviously a, an inside joke, I put on my story, uh, the Norva, which is a, a venue near me that I, I go to, uh, they posted, hey, guys, look, uh, bad omens uh, in this moment and dead son, comma, May like 15th are coming to the Norva. So I'm like, I thought it was dead, but OK, dead son, because why would you put the comma? You're listing bands with commas after them. And that's not on me. <laughs> they, whoever wrote that messed up. That's not me. Dead son. I was, That's, I was out to dinner with my boss trying not to absolutely lose my shit when you're like, it's not the best season dead. It's a new band, Dead Sun. Exactly, like, Dead Sun. I'm like, what the fuck is a Who Dead Sun? Like, oh my God. I had to go to my fucking calendar. I'm like, wait a minute, is that a Sunday? <laughs> <laughs> so anyways, uh, that tour is happening. It's mm -hmm. hitting Virginia. It's hitting like every market. Like, it's weird because in this moment is going on like a... a um, a tour with Slipknot mm -hmm. hitting a bunch of markets all that aren't majors and then they're doing another tour um, where they're going all over the place and it's like I want to see granted I'm seeing Bad Omens in a couple in like what 14 days at this point uh, but I want to see them Whoa. again I want to yeah. see Dead again and I would love to leave before in this moment but the closest <laughs> date is like three hours away so I'm not going to do that just come to Virginia uh, no I will have to pass on that offer to go see in this moment. Although I would be That's home like two hours earlier than I would be if I left That's after in this saying. moment. Yeah, because they man. only take like two and a half hours to set up their fucking set. So. God, dude. I can't imagine. It's probably for the best you won't be home for that one. Most likely. Yeah, yeah most likely. Fuck, yeah, fuck in this moment. Um, yeah. Even I've never listened to them. To be, I'm going to be completely honest. I'm just following along with what Shane said. He hates them well, so like, much. There like must when, be a reason. What I said, what I said to you is, I was like, I personally have, I hate them very you much. You might like, but them. you might enjoy them live. I don't know what you like live. <laughs> I, I, I just be entertaining. Well, I have a good stage not, presence. So <laughs> there you go, and that's what you tell me. That's what you tell me. Um, um, speaking of shows, what have you gone to any shows recently? No, I haven't. Um, this weekend I've got a lineup. I'm seeing uh, Christian Sparacho. He's playing at the Dim Office on Thursday. Um, it's gonna be like a seated show, like 40 people, oh, okay. cat mm -hmm. kind of thing. Um, mm -hmm. And then I might go to a show on Friday, but gas is expensive, so I don't know. Uh, mm -hmm. And then Saturday I'm seeing Halogens at um, the House of Independence. And then the following Wednesday, I'm seeing just friends and bears and trees and I'm very excited for that one. Get to hang That's out with the besties. Really cool. Um what about you? You got your big festival coming up. I have Safe Face oh, yeah. this weekend. I was supposed to see Tyler on Friday. <laughs> Did not happen. The night tw twenty hours before doors open, he was like, Hey, it's cancelled. And everybody was like <laughs> what people were already lined up yeah. i would have been pissed if i was out there in the cold and then i get a, a notification of him just like richmond not richmond norfolk and and what pittsburgh canceled mm -hmm. just because his set won't fit we don't care about the set just just put stand on stage stand on the basketball court set. <laughs> dude i don't exactly like, they don't even have to set up the stage just be there do your silly little set We'll be happy because you're there, and then go go on your way. But no, he just canceled both both dates. It was actually both dates uh, mm. because it wouldn't fit. Even though the Norfolk one, he said it was because of local staffing shortages, which was a complete lie. Well, it's just in, because it in all fit. fairness to him, and I was going to try mm -hmm. to say this over text, but I was like, this is going to get lost in translation. Um, okay, there you. might have been like enough people working at the venue but since there was a 12 hour drive from boston which is shitty planning anyway Lord. yeah um, right like, why wouldn't you like i don't know you're probably like hitting florida why wouldn't you hit virginia like on the way back from like florida do like go up this way up the coast yeah my island. dad rerouted the entire tour he was like they could have done it this 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 and i was like yeah so, you're right. anyways there's that one and then it might have been that the venue was staffed but they couldn't get enough stage hands to unload everything in that like mm -hmm. short period of time 
Um, Maybe. But I don't fucking know. There also just could have been not enough doors to fit that fucking stage in the fucking venue. Dude, like, it's a mansion. That, that's why I'm like. That's why they canceled the one in uh, Pittsburgh because they Pittsburgh. booked the wrong fucking venue. <laughs> exactly. They booked the oldest venue with only like two doors. Uh-huh. So, I mean, obviously we're not on the inside, but. Uh, no. I I am on your team where I'm where I'm like who the fuck okayed this route? <laughs> exactly, like, like awful, like, awful plan. We're gonna do one day we're gonna be in Boston, the next day we're gonna be in Virginia, and we've got this big ass stage. Like could have just built in an off day, like yeah, he could use it. Just honestly, yeah, because he's doing like back to back. But then it's oh. like after Virginia, he had he had like two days off, mm-hmm. and then after the one tonight, he has like four days off. And he just canceled the one that he would have been doing after this one, which was Pittsburgh. So it's like, he has like a week off now. Come back to Virginia on your off days, you know, but whatever. So yeah, there's that. I'm Yeah. Um, but I'm seeing him on at my, my silly little fest. Mm-hmm. Um, so that should be, unless, unless well, there's <laughs> local sa- staffing shortages there as well. And his stupid little setup won't fit on the massive stage not all not all hope is lost in the glory sees title of the creator saga uh, but spirit box did just tweet that they had a positive covid taste in covid test case blah, in their touring party so i swear to god if they're not back on the tour in 14 days i am refunding my tickets <laughs> yeah. who else is on that lineup it's straight the straight from the path bad mm-hmm. omens mm-hmm. spirit box and under oath Granted, oh, I want to see what? all of those bands. Yeah. But that would be the second time that Spirit Box has You've been robbed from me. Yeah. So I will not be a happy camper if that happens God. again. I'm sure it'll be fine. You you saw how like, what Stan Atlantic rebounded from their like five. Stan Atlantic was like playing during tests. it. So they like they just like had their guitarist like sitting in the van and they're like, We're gonna go out and play. <laughs> like, that's fine. Like, like Patty Walter was like <laughs> Patty Walter's like, I have COVID, so they're like, Okay, we're gonna play a set without Patty. We're gonna see how that goes. <laughs> that tour was was crazy. There's so many roadblocks. They they just kept moving. Yeah, they just kept yeah. chugging forward. They were like we're not Absolutely. stopping. And I was like, you know what? Honestly, as long as everyone else tested negative, I respect yeah. it, man. Exactly. You're yeah. not ruining the experience for everyone. Well, unless somebody was like, I can't wait to see Patty Walters <laughs> live, and then the one show. I can't wait to see like... the guitarist from Stan Atlantic live. Just dude, him. <laughs> king, absolute king. king. Can't yeah. believe I missed. We're gonna we're gonna talk about Santa Lanc later, actually, and how I want their album injected in my veins. But I I saw that tweet yeah. and I do you need any help, Shane? No, I just need it injected in my veins right now. You I need the need stream the of the album now, two months ahead of time. Send it uh, to us. Cold Night for Alligators dropped now on the hindsight. It's a notes. A Cold no, Night. No, it's not I A. Where'd you get the A from, Glory? It's not on there. Their... <gasps> there is it was no there a. two seconds ago on their they're on their spotify it, i swear to god well, it's not a cold night for alligators it's a cold night for alligators uh it i don't really think it matters if there's an a there or not <laughs> okay, <laughs> they dropped a new okay. album the hindsight notes we chatted with them about the mm-hmm. about the record go watch it yep. uh the album very was very good, good. um mm-hmm. honestly i'm really fucking with water song the drink is great too but yeah it's um, also really good water and uh the closing track too was honestly mm-hmm. pretty phenomenal um mm-hmm. so the the album's great uh don't sleep on them no if water is the one with the um i don't know it's brass i don't know if it's a trumpet or th- i don't know what it was but if it if it's the one with that mm-hmm. then yes i agree that is the best track on the album but the opener is also a banger because every mm-hmm. time it comes on i'm like oh yeah oh yeah i know this i like this mm-hmm. so very good album watch our interview was good it's what this era is yeah. it blue yeah we just did yeah it. So that's uh i know you know it could have been orange it could have been like, i just slapped light an blue. orange background over it <laughs> <laughs> Dude, but so go ahead and watch it it's it's a safe one we're good in that one vein fm dropped a new album this world is going to ruin you i'm going to start off with this one because you i know you already have your your, your little bit the first two songs that i listened to i was like oh boy <laughs> this is this is gonna be a, a rough i don't know half hour 45 minutes um but as soon as i like got past those couple tracks it was actually very smooth and well flowing album Mm -hmm. uh i don't know i really i really enjoyed it it didn't hurt my ears that's you know i'm not i'm not a metal person metal head um so it's very out of the ordinary for me to actually enjoy 
something this heavy. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I, I really enjoyed it, except the seven minute track at the end. That, that kind of threw me out of it. You, you had me, and then you just threw me out. The but at least that. they lost you at the very end. Is at the very literally the last yeah. track they lost me but like those couple tracks phenomenal um i can't believe that gloria is now a hardcore fan shut up <laughs> don't spread that around that's fake news <laughs> you want to know it isn't fake news your love for young blood anyway okay he had one good photo shoot and did it you just, see i ratio you this morning eyes. what happened did you see i ratio you this morning i saw it. everybody's ratioed me this morning every literally i was being oh my god i was being crucified last night on twitter i was just trying to have a nice family time you know with, with my entire brothers and i was like guys i'm getting ratioed on twitter <laughs> deserved yeah. deserved anyways Back to the album. Uh, I'm sure I'll take enough digs at Gloria and the young blood standing uh, later. Um, this just, album was you know, great. Front to back bangers. Although I do agree. Uh, the closing track was a little all over the place. Get that stinky man out of here. He He's quite literally, he's bathing in this picture. So he can't be that stinky. <laughs> you know? I think, the first I think time this man has bathed in six years. But he's brown. <laughs> No, no. <laughs> but, um. Anyways, this album is great. Um, deserves all the hype it's been getting, for sure. Uh, Spring Silver dropped a new album. I could get used to this. Holy shit, was Dude. this album great? The, I mean, f- wow, all of the compliments just tried to come out at once. <laughs> uh, this was like I feel like the production, everything has gotten better since we last spoke to them. I think it was set up a camera. Which is also on this album, mm-hmm. uh, which is kind of crazy because it feels like that was years ago, which probably was like 2020 or something. But I'm happy that the album's finally out. And I don't know. It was really, really, really good. Everything about it. I wouldn't change a thing, mm-hmm. honestly. There's so many earworms on this album, too. Like even set up a camera. You brought up that song and it was like, mm-hmm. now nah, the, the chorus is fucking stuck in my head now and probably mm-hmm. will be for the rest of this episode. So mm-hmm. um absolutely rocks we uh we spoke to we spoke to spring silver uh Mm -hmm. it's not out yet uh but it will be yeah and we also we we did talk to them earlier a while back Mm -hmm. about a single probably don't watch that one because we we were probably actually no i don't think we were uh, you know you know be cautious okay little prince (laughs) is my favorite I, you you said your song. I I shared. No, my song. I like I, I like all the songs. Uh, but mm-hmm. set up a camera is just the one where you said it, and it oh, was mm-hmm. like instantly in my head. Um, this one with Spring Silver was a year ago, in our light blue era. So, light. Oh, okay. That's that's safe. I'd yeah, say that's, that's safe. We're, that's we're getting safe. comfortable. Yeah, that's yeah. safe. Okay. Belmont dropped a new album, Aftermath. Dude, Dude. I heard the first track on this album. Mm. I was throwing fists like this, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Fucking crazy. Fully Insane. Sent is one of the best songs they've written, hands down. Really? I fucking love that song. Mm-hmm. Um, dude, this album smacks. Mm-hmm. Smacks so hard. It smacks. It's, Every, it's a really good album. Even Country Girl. Took a oh, couple well. listens, man. <laughs> and I was like, you part. know what? Like, and people are calling it like, like an easy core version of like um, Emo Girl. Mm-hmm. Oh, like, well, the worst part is, is that this was pr- written at the same time or before Emo Girl. Mm-hmm. So Belmont's actually the pioneers of shit music. <laughs> music? <laughs> yeah. Shit. Just pure shit. Um, Garbage. Okay. Like, I mean, it's very obviously like a meme song. So it's not meant to be like, oh, your favorite song on the album. Uh, mm-hmm. Weird that. I mean, it's, it's my favorite. <laughs> weird, <laughs> weird that it's the focus track on the album, but um, whatever. I thought the album was great. I, I've been listening to it a fuck ton. Um, mm-hmm. Like um, yesterday I was driving to see my partner and the first song came on and I was like, cranked it up a little too high and then I had to go pick them up and I was like, we're finishing this album by the way because the first song came yeah. on and now I have to finish it. Mm-hmm. Um, and so, you wonder why you have, what, tendinitis with the cranking the song up as loud as you can? <laughs> it bro, actually bro, wasn't that ears. loud. It was just like, I had my radio at a reasonable volume, and then I got slightly more crazy. And I couldn't throw Jeez. fists while I was driving, Glory. Is that, I'm like, the first time you heard it, you were throwing fists. You were like, you were doing that while driving? No, I can't throw fists while I'm driving. What do you, what? I had to, I was safe. I was watching the road 
while banging my head a little bit. Oh, oh my god. I'm never I'm never getting in a car with you. I'm never going to drive around. We'll play around we'll play you. fully sent while we're driving around Virginia together, Glory. Absolutely There's like three cars in Virginia anyway. We'll be okay. No. <laughs> no. <laughs> Awful. This album was amazing. Mm -hmm. Um it reminded me a bit of Water Parks with the uh the fusion of rap mm -hmm. in it. Um but not like this is a rap album. It's like they have a little part in every three songs where he does a silly little rap and it was good. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah, it's nice to see black influence in music just because, I mean, rap is taking over. I'm happy to see it. Um, so it's cool to see that even like every genre is kind of putting it into their music and it's working. Mm -hmm. So uh, good job, guys. Killer. Swaco. Just it's Swaco. I think it is. I don't fucking know. I, I, I read just, it like, as Suko. Like, I, and my partner said it a different way yesterday. And I'm like, I don't even fucking know at this point. I saw the guy on TikTok and I was like, <laughs> my brain says it like Swaco. So fuck Swaco. it. Swaco. It's Swaco that now. That makes sense. Um, dropped a new album. It was fun while it lasted. <clears throat> um, so I, I personally enjoy this man's TikTok presence a lot. Um, mm -hmm. And he he started teasing his song Toxic Therapy, and I knew I had to get off the video because that three second clip or whatever he played was gonna be stuck in my head until the album came out, because mm -hmm. um, it's just so catchy. And then yesterday, I was like, okay, Sam, I'm sorry, you're probably sick of this song. We have to mm -hmm. listen to it again because it won't get out of my brain. Um, Poor Sam. So that's my favorite song on the album. I personally thought the album was uh, pretty good, um, mm -hmm. although Travis Barker made it on the album For unfortunately whatever reason. <laughs> i saw i saw a tweet today that was like um it was much longer than this but basically boiled down to you see a travis barker feature you know the song's gonna be mid yeah yeah yeah, yeah. and the funniest thing is when it came on i didn't know that there were like features on there i think it's just like two features it was basically uh, just travis barker yeah yeah travis barker right but as soon as it came on i was like is everybody copying like Travis Barker's like drumming style? But now hearing that he was actually on the album, that was probably the Travis Barker song. Mm -hmm. So as sucky as this album was, because I did not like it, and I'm gonna say why in a second. The at least Travis Barker has his presence on it. You're oh, able to pick oh, it out. Always great. I mean, when, it's the same beat it's every time. Great when he makes honest. it onto an album, like I just love when every single pop punk adjacent album sound that has Travis Barker on it. Mm -hmm. um sounds like machine gun kelly oh <laughs> love it the best thing ever not even like blink 182 like it doesn't sound anything like blink it's literally just machine gun kelly well and then machine gun kelly kind of sounds like a, a store-bought version of blink 182 <laughs> no there is <laughs> no, no the, way the, don't the even drumming don't... beat because the Tra drum okay. travis barker was so influential like with the blink 182 but it's just like you've got travis barker with on your album but somehow your album sounds like store-bought Blink-182. Dollar Tree. And, and, we're, and we're going to talk about Machine Gun Kelly later because he somehow He's like, here's your two. He, he, he somehow dropped his best song, but it, it was basically just a rap song, so I don't even, like, what? he should just write rap. I don't, well, best song off this album. Oh, this album I was so scared. I was like, no way you thought this bad, was the best song. No, but oh, the other two have just garbage. been garbage. So Yeah. Okay. Um, my little my little tidbit of this uh, this album is it's literally just another white boy taking rap and marketing it as pop punk rock alternative. Um, I listened to this album. I was like, this is a rap album. And it's kind of out of the ordinary for Shane to add a rap album. And so I looked at all the playlists that uh, Suko, Swayco, I don't care, are, <laughs> is in. And it's all new alt, upcoming alt, pop, rock. And I'm like, there's no way. This is literally just nothing nowhere all over again, where it's just... A white guy wanting to be alt, just doing rap, and then everybody eating that up and and being like, oh, my God, he's my favorite alt artist. No, you just you just don't want to admit you like rap or it's just not what you think is rap because it's a white guy. Fair enough. Um, yeah, I definitely thought that there were more than a couple of songs on this album that were um, very rap influenced or just straight up rap. <laughs> Um, mm -hmm. but I also thought that there were definitely a handful of like pop punk tracks on this album, mostly the singles okay. that he put out. And that might mm -hmm. be why there's so many like 
new alt shit. Um, yeah. Because like Spotify is going to go towards the singles. Um, mm-hmm. But like Toxic Therapy was obviously like not a pop punk song. And it's weird mm-hmm. that it's also my favorite track off the album. But like a, a song like Paralyze, I would say was a pop punk song. Okay. Um, so that's just my two cents on the mm-hmm. on the matter. But um, get where you're coming from. Yeah, it's just it's just frustrating to to see that all day. Mm-hmm. It's just as I said, it's just nothing nowhere all over again. Like that's literally nothing like, nowhere was just bad. This was somehow decent. It was <laughs> awful, and it was rap, and it and somehow nothing nowhere is being taken on like massive alternative like rock tours. Well, nothing nowhere was on the all time low tour, but obviously dropped off. And I think that was just like a label deal. Mm-hmm. Now now he's touring. He's doing a run. Um, I think it's, I think it's him doing the run that's got like artists that do his same style. Mm-hmm. So it makes way more sense for a run like that. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I don't know. I, don't, I, don't know. I, I just thought I saw him. Oh no. I just thought I saw him on, uh, like two other tours where it was just like bigger, uh, alternative artists. Well, and it was just, I don't, I didn't mean supposed to be on that neck deep tour too, but he had dropped mm-hmm. off it for in favor of all time low. Ooh. And Edited then everything visual. came out, <laughs> yeah. And, and then, and, and then everything came out. Him and Meet Me at the Altar dropped off the tour. Did four small dates yeah. wherever, mm-hmm. like wherever they were at when they dropped mm-hmm. off the tour. They did like four dates, and they're like, "Okay, we're going home now." Yeah. Um, wow, God. <laughs> that uh, that is really poorly. <laughs> yeah, but um, yeah, that was just my my two cents. It's just frustrating. Um, Just Friends released an album, Hella complete chaos that's what this record was yeah chaos that works though um mm-hmm. i see them live in a couple of days and so, uh with bought, their besties bought the tickets to see uh bears and trees and i i had i tell this story all the time because every single time i'm like i miss san atlantic it's sad summer but i also miss just friends it's sad summer 2019 mm-hmm. and after hearing the song because i hadn't really listened to them much before this because i knew i was going to miss their set um mm-hmm. i was like oh you know like after hearing this album like i think they would be a really fun band live um um two of my favorite tracks on the album were hot mm-hmm. and sizzle um mm-hmm. because for some reason the album just gets very heavy like mm-hmm. for those two songs and then goes back to doing whatever the fuck it was doing there's a hobo johnson feature on this album fuck that Ooh, uh- not good <laughs> it wasn't good as a hobo johnson i like a couple of his songs not good yeah uh hobo johnson not my favorite but uh overall i thought the album was pretty good um i'm excited to see them live in Mm -hmm. in a week's time Mm -hmm. i personally was not the biggest fan i liked a couple of the tracks but overall i i don't think i was a a massive fan i like the vocals a lot Mm -hmm. for me i i really like the vocals but just wasn't for me Maybe um, I'm pretty sure live, as you said, it would it would come off better, more my style. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, that was just the experience I had with it. Bro, I'm sweating so bad in this fucking motionless and white. <laughs> Dude, Should take it off. Here? No, it's okay. <laughs> I might rip it when I take it off. We'll save oh, that God. for when we get off air. <laughs> <laughs> Tate Logan dropped a new single, "Kill Me to Try," debut yeah. single, debut mm-hmm. solo single. Mm-hmm. Oh, fucking it's banger, about bro. time. Dude, I love so Tate. good. Tate is amazing. Yeah, the Killer. song was great. What a king. Um, mm-hmm. What an earworm, too. Like, this song, fucking... All it takes is one listen, and you're like, God damn, this shit's catchy. Earworm. Mm-hmm. It's fucking... Running through my brain right yeah. now, actually. Fucking yeah. great. Amazing. Um, yeah. I know I know he worked on other things outside of the single, so I'm, uh, mm-hmm. I'm happy to... I'm excited to see it all unfold mm-hmm. um, over the next several months, most likely. Um, yeah. And I'm actually... I'm wearing my happy shirt today. You can only see the <sighs> HA... Uh, yeah but the the two p's and the y are under that i promise um <laughs> it's just <laughs> 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 right now it just looks like a <laughs> he's laughing at you right now <laughs> um, oh, i need to get a i need to get a tate logan shirt i was gonna be like yeah. i need to get a happy shirt well, actually i probably should as well i'm a happy mm. stan do you have um, a happy hoodie <laughs> i do yeah i do and I'm good then. I'm set. Yeah. Um, need, need to take so the merch right now. Right, give, give it to me now. Uh, but this song was good. Uh, I said it in the chat. We have a, a group chat with friends. Uh, and I FM'd it. And I was like, hey, guys, look, I'm listening to the new Tate Logan single. Uh, I think this was really good. 
and it doesn't sound like a happy B side, mm-hmm. which is good. Mm-hmm. You know, it's usually with like debut singles. A lot of artists try to be like, "Hey guys, I make the same music that I made in this band that possibly doesn't exist anymore." I don't. It's kind of a gray area over there. I don't there think with it happy. exists anymore. I don't think, but it's like, I don't know. I don't. I don't think it exists either. Um, unfortunately. But it was nice to kind of see Tate's like side of it. Mm -hmm. Like you could see how much influence he did have on Happy, but it wasn't like a copy and paste like imposter syndrome. It was very nice. It was refreshing to see Tate in his element. Mm -hmm. Really, really liked it. For sure. Uh, I'm not the besties yet. Hopefully (laughs) come on the podcast. Hot Shelly Ray. Is it Shell? I always said Chili. Oh fucking no! They have the one song. That's all I know about That's, them. <laughs> I'm gonna call him Chili Ray. Chili, Hot Chili Ray <laughs> dropped a new single, "Stupid Song." Absolute banger. This was very good. Come on the podcast. When they dropped this cover art on the timeline, I thought they were doing NFTs. <laughs> no, I would. Because I, I, I saw this cover art, I was like, mm-hmm. "This just Let looks look like it. they're gonna cut it into three pieces, and it's gonna be NFTs." <laughs> like, th- like, like come pieces. on, dude. Um. Where it was it? not. It was a new single. Um, that that does look like a, an NFT. Yeah. Yeah. Definitely. Um, mm-hmm. So I was like, oh my god, I'm so glad that this song is not an NFT. Um, mm-hmm. But this song bangs, bro. They they Honestly, yeah. they haven't lost their their uh, their vibes yet. Like they, no. they they're not one hit wonders. Um, absolute banging. I wish Big Time Rush uh-huh. took Hot Chili Ray as the opener. Bro, but Dixie fucking DeMeo. No. We're gonna drop <laughs> that right now. Dixie fucking DeMeo, dude. <laughs> mother freaking Cory mother freaking Taylor. Imagine oh Big God. Time Rush brought Cory mother freaking Taylor on tour. Imagine at the Big Time Rush show, Dixie mother freaking DeMeo brought out Cory mother freaking Taylor. <laughs> It's a feature on her song. Oh my god. Oh my god that would be awful. That would god be awful. amazing. I'm here for mm-hmm. it. Um, Don't lie to yourself. So Shane. when so when the Slipknot tour and the <laughs> Big Time Rush tour happened to like really be close in routing. Mm-hmm. That that's gonna be why. <laughs> yeah, don't be surprised when Corey Motherfreaking Taylor jumps out during Dixie's opening set. It's gonna happen. Uh Ghost put a new single, twenties. Um I thought this was all right. T- <laughs> took a couple of listens for me to even like be like, "This is okay." I don't know. It just it, it felt like an a, a song that would definitely like in a ghost record would mm-hmm. work, mm-hmm. but as a single, mm-hmm. doesn't feel like it. It really belongs. Mm-hmm. Um. So yeah, I'm pulling out my. Uh, Good old fashioned. I'm sure it'll sound great in the context of the record, but uh, as a single, I'm not really digging it. You know, not really digging it right now, man. Oh. I did. I was not digging it. Fair enough. <laughs> yeah. Stand and Lennox drop new single. Hair out. Shoot this fucking song into my veins. You good? It's fucking great, dude. Okay. <laughs> I thought this song was um. Well, it was. I thought it was good. It's not my favorite Stand and Lennox song. But I really like the end part where it does the little voiceover. It's just like, uh, I think Bonnie's like, I can hear people hating this song already. You know, like, scrap it or whatever. And I'm like, oh, I love when artists do that. Yeah. I just, it's so, it's so satisfying. I don't know. And, um, yeah, no, I fucking, I love this song so fucking mm-hmm. much. Um, mm-hmm. I'm really digging the direction of this album. Because, like, they were definitely teetering on that, on uh, Pink Elephant. But they weren't, mm. like, fully there with, like, this aggressive pop punk no, song. No, 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 no. Um, and I'm just, I'm here for it. Like, mm-hmm. so here for it. And the next album's long. Like, the one that's coming out in a few weeks, in a few months is long. Like, 14 or 15 tracks. Huh. And, like, you mean I'm going to possibly, and there might be a couple interludes, 14 to 15 tracks of this? And this sound? Here for it. No. And they might throw another they can what, even, drink to drown. They can even the have the a tr- drink to drown in the middle of the record, and mm-hmm. it won't ruin the album as much because the album is significantly longer. Yeah, unless they do two drink to drown. Well, in that case, I'm skipping over the entire fucking record and just <laughs> listening the hair out. There you um, go. There you go. So, pup 
put out a new single, Matilda. Um, the track was pretty good. Mm-hmm. Um, the album comes out in a couple of weeks. Honestly, yeah. kind of excited for it. Mm-hmm. Well, a little mm-hmm. bit of excitement. Um, a little bit of excitement. Yeah, yeah, the song was pretty good. When I was younger, I tried uh, younger, fourteen, thirteen. I tried to get into pop because I, I think it was Matt. Matt. Mm-hmm. Yeah, Matt was like, "You need to listen to pop," and I was like, "What tracks should I start with?" And they sent me like a handful. Actually, no, I think I just tried to find something and i was like i don't like pup because mm-hmm. i didn't like pup uh but if this song was out count me as like a pup stan mm-hmm. i would have been like this is the perfect gateway song to to their music in my opinion yeah our uh, our friend matt um back in 2019 when uh pup put out the the pink cover art album whatever that one's called yeah, whichever one. um basically tried to convince everyone and their mother to listen to pup at least once <laughs> and we all did it we all listen to Pup at least once. I listened to that album two or three times. I just couldn't get into it. Yeah. Um, but I, I'm digging. I'm digging the new stuff. Um, exactly. maybe, maybe it's because I'm like going through the album cycle and like you know hearing everything because it it yeah. it's all kind of like sounds similar to like that sound. Mm-hmm. Um. So it's like, why do I like this shit? But I don't like that shit. It makes no fucking sense in my brain. But mm-hmm. whatever. I think maybe it's because it's kind of like easing you into it and you have a couple weeks in have, between each track. I don't have track. someone holding a gun to my head going, you go listen, listen to this to whole album right now. Exactly, the whole, entire and then, album. And I then think. give me a review of the record. Okay? Exactly, what did and you I'm, think? And I'm like, it was great. And then I never listened to it again. <laughs> uh, bearings. Oh my God, dropped in a single, Shaking Your Mind. Bearings is more like banging. Banger. We did two different, uh, you know, it's, it's fine. Close Banger. This, is, this is really good. I love bearings. Um, come back on the pod. Uh huh. <laughs> um, this song song's great. Um, very excited to see them in a few weeks. I see them at the very <laughs> end of the month with Between You and Me. We <laughs> also interviewed, so let's keep them strangling. Interview right bearings, now. interview Between You and Me interviewed young culture three separate times three times and we interviewed arrows and actions a long time ago i'm so excited to hang out with everyone say hello at the merch table um it's gonna be great i'll take pictures <laughs> pictures aren't enough i need to be there i'll take pictures i need to you. where's the closest do they go to no i don't think i do, i'll take, I'll take I, pictures don't I, worry I, it's okay north carolina please <laughs> virginia come to the norva you can sell at the norva it was like you 2000 cap and i think that's what um one of the guys in between you and me said at the end of that interview when we were just <gasps> hanging yeah, out yeah. they're like mm-hmm. yeah we can totally sell them oh, 2000 easy. cap there's nothing there's nothing <laughs> they were hilarious oh i love them Come back on the podcast let's just talk guys let's let's have everybody on that tour the whole tour come on the podcast at one time that'd be so everyone cool. i'm gonna be at the date on march 30th if you guys want to all stand around a microphone and bullshit for an hour no we'll fall, don't do we'll, that we'll zoom in glory don't do that we'll, we'll you're zoom in glory. salt in the wound <laughs> we'll, hey, we'll, hey, you. We'll we'll uh, zoom call Glory during it too, and we'll say what's up. No, <laughs> we'll just point no. and laugh at her. <laughs> no, I hate you so much. I hate you. We're we'll call, we'll on. just call her a young blood stand and point and laugh. Uh, <laughs> 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 oh, the regrets. Uh, you had a good new photo single. Shoot, sure, uh, that's what makes me love you. This track fucking bangs, bro. That's what makes you beautiful. Not even close, but this song was great. Mm-hmm. Um, this is a very good song. Yeah. Regret's kind of popping off. True. You said, uh, I, I cut I you off. said true. Yeah. No, no, no. Before I started uh, talking, you said, uh, uh, like you were going to say something else. I don't even remember saying, uh, I'm sorry. I, I completely derailed your train of thought. I, I, don't, I don't think I had a train of thought. <laughs> you, you just said, uh, <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was a good track. It was a good track. I, I see this name. I think you've said it like twice. I, I've i never gotten stuck with it. Kubla Khan, Texas? Close enough. Close enough? What? How is it? What is it? I think it is that. I, you shouldn't be asking me. Kubla Khan, you gotta put TX, it. Yeah. I, I think is the, how my brain says it. I'm going to have to learn this. Yeah. Um, Pro- yeah. 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 <laughs> oh, well, they dropped a new single, Loyal to None, and it was a banger. Absolute banger. A limb Absolute banger, banger, as the kids would what? say. God, no. 
No limp banger. I I hate limp biscuit now. Sorry, oh. I'm coming out on the podcast to say that. No, Shane limp is the only limp limp biscuit stand here now. I oh. I took you out of our our name now. We're now a, a big time rush stand account. I'm okay with that. Yeah, I thought so. It's like this is a good middle ground. Um, but yeah, this track bangs. Uh, Wallows put out a new single at the end of the day. At the end of the day. At the end of the day, this song was all right. This was a banger. It was a little. I. It's the same with Zari, and I know she's gonna love that because she's like a massive Wallows fan, I think. But it's just like they come on, and I'm like, oh, that's Wallows. You know, they have that what like. 80s i don't know what what year what era that was but that kind of 80s 90s sound and it's very nice it's, it's very good to to see the the young people making that the type youngins. of music the youngins you sound like so 10 old. years older than me the <laughs> it's like 10 years old. The youngins, they're making the these they're making these 80s tunes the 80s tunes reminds me of the olden days uh well <laughs> Machine Gun Kelly and Lil Wayne. I'm okay with that. Drop new single. A. I'm just gonna say this track. Sorry, did you you could go first? No, no, no. You can go. This track to me proved that MGK can't rap. He can't do anything. Cause like when when he was rapping, I was like, God, this is awful. And then when Lil Wayne started, I was like, yeah, this is good. This is good. And then because he just mumbles into a mic. And I, you know that tweet that, that I shared with you where it's just like every time Machine Gun Kelly sings or raps, it always sounds like he's drunk. Mm-hmm. Point proven. Mm-hmm. Like, oh, he's so boring. His everything about him is so boring. Yeah, the, I mean, I said it earlier and I'll, I'll say it since we're now on topic. Um, Machine Gun Kelly's best pop punk song is a rap song. <laughs> I don't even know how the fuck that's possible. Now, I think that he's got songs on his first album that are great. Um, Bloody Valentine. For for what for what he was going for, I thought that album was pretty good. This new album cycle, though, I've hated mm-hmm. the first two singles, um, yeah. which was um, the one that came out in 2021, and then we've mm-hmm. got Emo Girl, and now we're here uh, with this fucking clusterfuck. Emo Girl. Um, it's on unf- emo girls on the fucking album too. The album I comes that out that was the just end of the month. Alone. The album comes out March twenty fifth. Uh, so we're gonna be so graced be as to hear this album in a few weeks. Um, might quit before then, mm-hmm. uh, just so I don't have to listen to it. Mm-hmm. But um, yeah, that album comes out then. And I I don't know, man. Like it's just like at this point, I don't even know. Like I don't even know if it's a joke at this point. Like I think, I, like is he fucking around? Like is he serious? Like is is emo girl like something that he wrote? Him and his team of writers wrote and was like, this is gonna be a banger, or like, was, or did they write it and he said, this is the funniest shit ever. Let's mm-hmm. drop it. Um, yeah. And then this little Wayne song, it was it like, okay, so I mumbled over a track. Let me call someone that can actually rap, or mm-hmm. like was he yeah. just like in a room with Little Wayne and they were like, yeah, let's spit some bars and like Little Wayne actually didn't fuck up didn't drop a stinker um, yeah which little wayne's been on a roll by he the way d- he has been he's N- been killing it not my favorite rapper in the world Mm-mm, i tried no. to become a little wayne fan very many years ago and uh <laughs> I can't see just, that. just not my favorite um no, he's not um no but he had a feature on the weekend album and he has mm-hmm. a feature here and both were pretty banging and the Tyler album. I'm not True. sure if you... Yeah. Wait, uh, was... Yes. Yes, he was. He was. Yeah. I, I, mm-hmm. I listened to the Tyler album once. Mm-hmm. Um, so, yeah. He's been on a roll, man. Um, but, yeah. This song is the best pop punk song he's dropped for this new project. And it's a rap song. I... Well... I don't even know what's going on here. Personally, I think his best pop punk song was the one with Kellen Quinn. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck that, that song. That one's my favorite. Fuck that song. Um, Fuck whatever that, that song. is, I don't know what it's love called. Race. But it's, love, they love race. Ra- I love that you know that. Because it's, it's, so it's so bad. It's so bad. It's so good. But the so fuck, the fucking great. the other song I was talking about is fucking. Because now I gotta check. It's fucking hmm. uh, fucking paper cuts. That fucking that boring ass song. The because mm-hmm. like there there were the two songs plus this one that are mm-hmm. gonna be on the album. I think awful. Um, and it's just man, but album comes out and it's album called main, one. main. Well, album one of two this year. Yeah. It's called mainstream sellout. 
Mm -hmm. um, and I have to check now. And is it love? Oh, no, paper cuts isn't even on this fucking album. Is Love Race on it? My no. favorite song? No, it's just Emo Girl and I. I don't see the other one. Granted, oh my God. the track names aren't out yet, so it could be on there, and it's just not. But I don't I don't even care at this point. I T just Tune in in a couple I, weeks. I'm going to listen to like half of it. I'm going to be complete. How many, how many tracks is it? Too many. Yeah, that's, well, that's if it's the perfect anything, If it's anything like the last album that he put out, it looked like too many tracks. You're going to love it. And then half of them were interludes. Ugh. So, cross our fingers on that one. Uh, yeah. Five Seconds of Summer put out a new single, Complete Mess. Dreamy pop banger. Honestly, yeah. It's it's a bit, yeah, it's it's more pop than all their other stuff, because usually they have that, you know, edge, you know, that, I don't want to say boy band edge or whatever, where it's kind of like rock or alternative. You know, they're kind of tiptoeing that line of, are we pop? Are we rock? You know, but this time they finally were like, okay, we're going to do a little pop now. Pop this time. And it was good. It was really good. I was actually expecting like a punk record, uh -huh. to be completely honest, for them to go back to their 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 roots because of, I don't know, their hairstyles. That's what, that's what, when I was in Stan Twitter, when that was happening. So it's like, everybody was like, oh my God, because they all have mullets now. It's going to be like a punk record. And I was like, that makes sense. Um, no, this no. is not punk. No. <laughs> this no. is not. No, this is dreamy pop. Good though. Yeah. You know? mm -hmm. Super love drop new single world of one, uh, world of wonder. Can we talk about the riff on this track? I would love to. Phenomenal. Immaculate. Fantastic. Superb. I ran out of words. <laughs> <laughs> this fucking song is so good. Um, I love um, where like this the, the singles on this off this album have taken us, mm -hmm. like all mm -hmm. sorts of uh, sonic sounds. sonic routes and shit. Yeah, uh, it was really big words. I could have just said sounds like Lori said. Dude, you did great. Uh, thank you. Um, mm -hmm. But this song is fucking great, and they said it's the last song. Uh, last song to come out before the album's out. Album mm -hmm. comes out April one. Mark your calendars. Um, I'm very excited for it to finally be out. So fucking Me excited. Too. Did we get the album? Yes, we've heard it. I need to listen to it. Uh, well, I've heard yeah. it because we were supposed to talk it, to them. Um, yeah. <laughs> uh, gotta set that back up. But uh, it's that fucking. It's a fucking daylight savings time, bro. It's fucking up I all these UK about interviews. That. Fucking I forgot everything we were up, bro. supposed to talk to them. God. Um, so yeah. Um, but I'm very excited for the album to be out so I can like loop the fuck out of it. Yeah. Uh, Cause I don't think much else, like anything that I'm like super stoked for comes out that week. Mm -hmm. Um, so I can like really dedicate my time to like making sure that I put in enough to listen to this album. Make um, your personality trait. Yeah. Making my personality trait of the week mm -hmm. before the Papa Roach album the next week. Sweet so, Lord. <laughs> uh, yeah. Fucking great. I'm very excited. Yeah, this uh, this track's definitely good, and as you said, definitely excited to to listen to the album. Apparently, I just maybe I just forgot that I listened to it because <laughs> I completely forgot that we were supposed to talk to them as well. Because that was that like an eleven o'clock interview. Mm -mm. No, that was the other one. Mm -mm. A lot of people have flaked recently. Happening, man. Stop listen, that, guys. Listen, I get it, bro. I, I get don't. it. Set I your alarms. It. Um, but yeah, the the singles that they've dropped are insane. Because didn't they, I, they dropped like a heavy track? So all like over it the was place, one of their bro. first ones, and then they dropped like kind of like a, a poppy one, and now this. And I'm, all it's over great. the place, bro. It's great. I'm Amazing. here for it. Yeah. Uh, Charlotte Sands dropped a new single, Lost, bro. Song's fucking great, bro. The fucking we say it every single time we talk about her. The fucking trajectory of what her career's been on so far is it's insane. insane. Uh huh. I'm so pissed off that the the Jersey Day to the Mains tour sold out. So I'm, uh. put, I'm, I'm putting this out because she got added to all the dates. She originally wasn't supposed to be on that date. Mm. So I'm putting this out into the universe for anyone watching. If anybody can hook me up, get me in. You got a resale ticket? Mm -hmm. I don't give a shit. Free, I got to pay. I don't care. Guest list. I got to get in that fucking venue. I got to see Charlotte Sands again and the main for like the 17th time. Um... I, I gotta see this man. Um, despite seeing both bands at uh, both artists at the same time over the summer, our DMs are open with her. Oh, 
I should have it. I'm just. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna hit it up. I don't have to go that bad. It's fine. I'm just putting it out Dude, there to anybody watching. I'm just watching. saying. I'll I'm hit just, her up for you. I am just manifesting into existence. Um. Because I believe it's Friday and I'll be around. So I'm just Dude, saying, I'm messaging no, her right do now. not message your glory. Do not. Doing it. Uh, no, please don't. Hey, Charlotte. No. Uh, uh, Point North and Jerris J- Johnson dropped a new single, Dark Days. So okay, we- go ahead. No, I was, I was going to say, you and I, uh, we spoke about this track last night with each other. Yeah. And uh, we came to the conclusion that this is the first time that at least I I don't know if you even like really responded to this part of the conversation, but I know mm-hmm. I said that this is the first time that I've actually thought that Jairus Johnson fit on a song. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. I, I responded and I was like, oh, yeah, he sucks. Yeah. Well, Respectfully. <laughs> well, you, were I like, mean, you were like, is that the is that the can you feel my heart guy? I was like, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and I was like, oh. Roach related <laughs> guy too. Um, mm-hmm. Definitely not my favorite musical artist in the entire universe. No. Um, but I thought that this song was great and I oh, thought that absolutely. he fits this because it was very like, um, point North has got, you know, very clean sound, very clean vocals. Mm-hmm. And he comes in with like the rougher vocals and it just, it, yes. it works in it this works. track. Um, mm-hmm. I thought it was pretty good. And also it's just this track overall. It's just a banger. Mm-hmm. Everything about it was, was really, really good. Mm-hmm. Honestly, yeah. digging it. Digging um, it. And for the, the final track we talk about tonight, Papa Roach, that new single, Cut the Line. My favorite band ever. Got their newest single, Cut the Line. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I can't wait for the album, dude. Mm-hmm. <laughs> so good. <laughs> um, this, this track wasn't bad. <laughs> Don't like Papa Roach, but this song is good. <laughs> Actually, I hate Papa Roach. But this song was good. Uh, that's all I'm gonna say. That's all I have to say about it. Fucking love Hover Roach, dude. And that's all the mm-hmm. topics we have today. Uh, mm-hmm. You can follow us on Twitter. It's good underscore noise underscore cast. Follow us on Instagram. It's good noise podcast. Facebook, good noise pod. YouTube, mm-hmm. good noise podcast. Fucking yep. every audio streaming service ever. Good noise podcast. Bandcamp is good noise records dot bandcamp dot com. And Patreon is patreon dot com slash good noise podcast. Glory has your important plugs. And then we're gonna sign off. I gotta get out of this sweaty, sweaty windbreaker. <laughs> Heat stroke. Uh, thank you to our here. Patreon supporters. My brother, my uncle, Matt from Pulses, Jeremy Brady, Zarian, Eric. And to our Twitch subs, Coaster Lover, Kahadli, Sam, and Matt from Pulses again. You guys rock. You guys are awesome. Thank you so much. I'm trying to figure out where I want to go with this last thing. Um... Give black artists credit for their music. White people, if you are going to do like rap and hip hop, R&B, all that stuff, give credit. Don't say that you're pioneering something new. Don't say that you create a new genre. You're just you're you're doing something that we've been doing forever. Uh, yeah, that's that's about it. I don't. To the more I look into the to Limp Biscuit, and the more I look into like like big artists from like back then, it frustrates me so much. Especially the fact that there's a guy in Limp Biscuit who like does blackface, um, and also wears like braids and stuff while doing blackface. Like, how are you going to take from not take? How are you going to build your career? using black influence and you know black music and then go basically spit in our face by wearing black face and braids in what world does that make sense um but yeah that's just my my little my little tidbit for tonight uh black lives matter stop asian hate wear a mask get your vaccine if you can if you can't just please wear your mask and if you're going to shows please don't kill the music industry again Wear your mask. I don't care if it's hot in there. I don't want to lose shows again. I'm going. I'm going to a safe face show. <laughs> representing. Um, I'm gonna get barricade. I'll see you there, Tyler. Um, I will not see the Wonder Years though, because I'll be leaving. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then on that note, I've been Shane. I have been Glory. And we have been the Good Noise Podcast. See you next week. Bye. Bye.